What you guys got another repair video here for you. This one is a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 uh, P5210. Uh, this is the actual glass that's broken here, as you can see, pretty nasty. Now, the actual LCD is intact and okay, and also the uh, digitizer swipe method is okay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just the actual glass itself that's broken. So we're going to replace that. Now, these are um, got a back to them, and the actual LCD glass and motherboard are all contained uh, on the actual screen itself, and the backing is just held on. With some clips so we need to detach that okay and we're going to be using a plastic spudger for that now this is a little bit tricky to get off and um, you've got to be very careful here that you don't damage the sides it's very soft uh, there someone who had this has had a go at it with a screwdriver and broke the side of it so i've straightened that and now i'm just going to pry away with this plastic tool here so i'm just going to be working around the edge here okay now this is not really a guide on how to do it, this is how I fixed it myself. If you want to follow other guides on the internet, by all means do so. Now you can see a little gap here that I've managed to get open. So I'm just going to work my way all the way around the tablet until I get that little gap there. Now we're going to get out a guitar pick here, a plastic guitar pick, and we're just going to push that in and try to separate the little catches around the outside now take note on the right hand side of my hand there is some buttons there you do not want to be uh, digging around there because you're going to break the buttons and there's little ribbons in there as well so you've got to be very very careful okay so you can see i'm just trying to get a little purchase on that now sometimes the tablet does come on you push the button by accident and uh but that's okay we'll turn it off in a second but once we get that detached from the bottom part of the uh, device we can then separate it just take it easy around near these buttons area I'm going to use my fingernail here okay now that's been separated and there is the backing and as you can see that's the uh, moisture sensor there and also you can see the, the actual tabs on the inside there they're the parts that are old in the caging and you need to separate those okay with this plastic spudger Okay, so now we've got the unit out, we can now get on with our repair. Now we need to detach these ribbons here. Now this um, browny sort of color ribbon here is the one that is, is attached to the screen here. So that's the one that's going to get replaced. The other two ones for the uh, main board here. And there's the battery, as you can see. Now these are the actual screws that we need to release for the battery. Now I've seen people repair this with the battery intact. I'm going to be removing my battery and there's the connector there. The reason why is because these are highly flammable, these batteries, and I do not want it catching fire. This is the actual motherboard area. It's a little tiny area here. This will be held in with one screw. And once we remove those other screws, the motherboard shell come out very easily. So I'm going to remove this tape. Um, it's pretty sticky stuff. I'm just going to remove that with a pair of tweezers and then put that to one side. Now we need to remove these ribbons. Now you can use the plastic spudger or your fingernail. I'm going to be using my fingernail here. I prefer to use my fingernail. And once you've done that, you can pull those out. Okay. So the ribbon will slide in and then the actual catch will come towards you. Okay. Be very careful. They are very delicate. You don't want to snap those. So we'll just go ahead and remove these other ribbons here. Now I have seen people repair this and leaving these ribbons intact and then just start to do the repair once they remove the battery connector. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to completely dismantle it for safety reasons. And uh, we're just going to take this little tab out here. They're pretty tricky. Just take your time. Now there's another bit of tape on here. I'm just going to pull this tape back a little bit and then pull the catch back and that should come out very easily. There we go. I'm just going to pull that tape back a little bit there. Now once we've got that off, we can now start removing the screws to release the uh, battery from the unit. Now this battery is very flimsy, so you've got to be very careful not to damage it. Okay. So I'm just going to remove one or two screws here and then jump forward you don't want to see me just removing screws
Now this kit does come with a little screwdriver set. Uh, I'd advise you to use a better screwdriver than the one they supply. It is a little bit crap to be honest. But just keep going round and releasing all these screws and putting them to one side okay. They are very tiny. Now once that's all released we can now release the battery. Now this is not a pull out battery it's a lift up okay so that just plugs out comes upwards and you can see it's very flimsy now we're gonna release the motherboard here now again I've seen people fix these with the motherboard still intact now there will be heat from the heat gun so I don't want no heat um, getting onto that uh, motherboard there and reflowing all the solder so I'm just gonna remove it for safety just going to have a little look here to see where the connectors are as you can see there so we'll just release those and you can use your uh, fingernail or you can use a spudger whatever you feel comfortable with okay so just take your time they are very delicate okay this is for the camera I'm going to remove that and then you've got the forward facing and the back facing cameras so you need to remove those and they both come out like so and just release all these catches here now once these are all released this should free up the board now there is one screw holding this board in as well on the bottom right hand side here and I'll just quickly release that Okay, these are really tiny little screws. Now once we've got this, we can remove the um, motherboard from there. Now this is a delicate little board, so be very careful, okay? Okay, so now we've got this out. You'll see the LCD and there's the cage part there, the caddy there. But we've got the um, LCD, the white bit is the LCD. And you do not want to be putting pressure on that from the other side because you will crack the LCD. So let's put the heat to the glass and just try and eat up around the outside. Now again, this is about um, taking your time, making sure it's not too hot. You'll see me putting my hand on the glass, making sure it's not getting overheated. We do not want to damage the LCD. Now this is a rework station I'm using here. I've got an ISSMO tool here, which I'm going to just pry underneath. Now again, be very careful not to dig too far in because we do not want to dig ourselves into the LCD area. So just go to about the edge, the black band around the outside and then you can work your way around, okay? Now there's no rush here, you just take your time. If there's a little bit of force there, then stop and add more heat. It's as simple as that really. That's about as far as you want to go with that tool. You don't want to go any further than that because you will start hitting the LCD. And you should see the glue just separate. A little bit more heat around the outside. Now you notice when I'm separating the glass I've actually got the device in my hand. I'm not actually pushing down on top of the glass which is putting pressure onto the uh, LCD. Otherwise you will damage it, okay? So just work your way around. Now this is where that crack is and we're just going to get to the edge. And then we'll probably have to restart and get underneath that other bit of glass there. And this is very sharp so make sure you're wearing high glasses. And if it's really shattered wear some gloves or put some tape over the outside of the glass. A little bit more heat just to uh, loosen up a little bit. Now you can see it's starting to shard now. Uh, but we're going to work our way around here. Now you'll see that bit of strip hanging down there. That's just a glue strip so don't worry about that. You can see it's just starting to shatter on that edge. And we're just going to pry this off a little bit.
and pull that little bit of glue off. Now that glue goes all the way around the outside. And you'll see the black part on the device there, that's all the glue. Let me just quickly show you the device now. You want to make sure you clean up all the broken glass and the debris. And you can see the clear silver bit, that's with all the glue removed. And then that's the glue all removed there. And on the bottom, this is with the actual glue still on there. And it's very tacky still. We want to make sure we remove all of that uh, glass from there. Now I'm going to be leaving that little bit of glue on there, I think. Because the actual um, screen only has a small amount of glue on it and it's very thin. And normally I would remove all that glue and put a strip of glue around, but I haven't got no glue. So this is the actual um, screen. Got this off of eBay. And it's very well packaged as you can see. Now you need to make sure you get the right model if you're going to attempt this yourself. And then we can see the actual plastic coating on there and there's the actual glue strips and they're very very thin there's not a lot of glue on them so I think I'm going to leave that on there I'm going to attempt to leave that I think okay this is uh, isopropanol and uh, we're going to be using this to clean off any residue or gunk on the LCD that may have got on there or fingerprints microfiber cloth and just work your way around not no smudges or any residue on that LCD because it will affect the display. Okay, let's peel back the plastic here and then we'll pull back the protective coating on the glue strip. Now you notice I've got my hand on the outside here and that's so I don't mark on the inside there you do not want no fingerprints so we're just going to line it up here and this bit was very tricky this has to be bang on if it's out by a little bit then you're going to have problems okay so take your time just line her up and then just let her drop down slowly once you're comfortable that's all nice and straight just put some pressure on the outside And you can warm it up a little bit with a hot air gun if you want to just to make the glue go a bit tacky again and this will help it stick so let's get that mother ball back in I'm going to drop that back in making sure that we haven't got no ribbons trapped underneath the board so just take your time there and straighten those up screw it all down and then we're going to add the battery back in I'm going to just drop that back in and then we'll connect her up and screw it up there we go just going to start to put some screws in here now to hold that back on so just reverse the process here now and uh, we'll put the ribbons back in here once your ribbons are back in We'll fire it up just to see if it works okay. Okay, now don't forget that better tape. Put that better tape back over. That just holds the uh, ribbons in place to stop them coming out. And once we've done that, we can put a bit of power to it before we put that backing on. Now you want to be testing everything here, the cameras, test all that sort of stuff, okay, test the sensitivity, the swipe and stuff and make sure everything is okay and you're getting power to the device, which we are here, as you can see. I'm not going to bother uh, going too into detail here, but you can see it's working okay. Pull that covering off and once we get that off, We'll put the backing back on. So there we go. Just going to sit that back into its back in there and put some pressure on. Now this is, was a nightmare to get back in 
to make sure it was all clicked in it was a bit of a mere but just persevere with it just until you hear the clicks go now I was hearing some clicking thinking it was snapping in it was the actual bubble wrap behind me <laughs> but there you go and there's the display all working properly okay so there you can see that's the uh, swipe method working okay everything is working okay on here the camera and everything else that's how you replace uh, a screen on a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3 P5210 and the finish is pretty good on the glass to the actual bezel there it looks pretty okay it's nice and tight and it just take your time guys and I'm pretty sure you can do it okay Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, then hit the like button, guys. It really does help me out. And also hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. Now, thanks for your continued support, and I'll be making more useful videos again in the future. So thanks again. Bye for now.